Hello world, Kodak here from America Sins and today I will demonstrate you the Black Series VC clock module. It's a nice master clock module with big and bright segmented LED display and advanced features like tap tempo, divided clock output, shuffled clock output and random clock outputs. It also features external clock input and CV inputs. And now let's see it in action. I'm sending the clock output to the mute and bass drum module. And now I will patch divided clock output to the grandpa module to trigger a clap sound. The output rate for divided clock out is the same as for the master clock output and now I'll push the rate encoder one time so I can set the divided output division rate. Let's set it to minus 2. It has now divided the signal two times. Now let's patch the shuffled clock output to the decaying noise module. And to change the multiply rate of shuffled clock output, you need to push the encoder two times. Let's leave it to plus four, which means it will multiply the clock signal four times. And now let's play around with shuffle knob to hear how it affects the clock signal. Now let's check out the clock input feature. I patched external clock signal into it and VC clock module now detects it and shows it on the display. I will now change the speed of external clock so you can see how it changes the BPM on the VC clock module. Cool thing about it is that if you remove external clock signal, the VC clock module stays in the same BPM as it was with external clock. And of course, shuffle is still in full effect if you are applying external clock. And now let's check out the tap tempo feature. Also, the max BPM of the module is 420 BPM if you need really high clock speed. Another cool thing is that you can save your settings. You just need to hold the rate button for 2 seconds and all the settings are saved. Now let's check out the CV input of the module. It's good for weird clock signal generation or for drastically changing your output settings on the fly. I will now patch CV from the LFO into it. For example, let's set the LFO to sample and hold signal and you will get weird clock timings. With file and ramp LFO waveform you can make breakdown like stuff with it and make some cool effects. Now let's take a look to the random clock output. I will patch it into decaying noise. As you can hear it spits out random clock triggers regarding the BPM rate.
So yeah, that's it for today. Find out more info about this module at our website. See ya!